brown baby doll and today I'm going to be showing you three of my favorite face masks to make for your summertime face routine. First mask you're going to need half an avocado, one egg white, and one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. First you're going to ensure that this has been mixed down very very well starting with the avocado and then mixing in the next two ingredients. The aim of this face mask is to hydrate your skin without having so much oiliness. Also, it's going to make sure that it reduces swelling and inflammation. Those are the things that cause you to have acne and clogged pores. Also, if you don't have fresh lemon, it's okay to use like lemon extracts or lemon juice. As you mix, you'll find that the mixture becomes thicker and richer, and at the end of it, it should appear as a paste. Now it's bright green and ready to go. On to mask number two. We're going to need two tablespoons of mashed avocados, one tablespoon of honey, and a half a tablespoon of cinnamon powder. I'm just using regular cinnamon powder from Kroger. The next step is simple. Just as you did with the last mask, you're going to start off with that avocado and you're going to mash it up completely. Now it's time to add in that honey. And guess what? I just estimate mine. I don't make a big deal out of making sure it's exactly right. Finally, I pour in the cinnamon powder. You want to make sure that this is mixed in completely. It might be a little hard with the texture, but just make sure you take your time and mix it all together well. This mask is going to be awesome for nourishing and softening your skin. It also helps to prevent and treat current acne that's on your face. So it's a great one for summertime. The last mask is amazing. All you need is three tablespoons of colloidal or chopped oatmeal, one fourth a cup of warm water, one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, and one teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Why do I love this one? I love it because it helps to prevent blemishes, those dark spots or hyperpigmentation that especially happen from being in the sun during the summer. Don't worry if you don't have chopped oatmeal, honey. You can make it at home. I just use my GE little blender and it works perfectly. Also, I prefer to get water boiled from the stove rather than from the faucet. First, I start off with the oatmeal. Oatmeal is amazing for treating the skin. Aside from just using this on your face, you can bathe in oatmeal because it nourishes the skin and softens it and makes it feel amazing. Next, I pour in the water. Mind you, this is going to help to make this thick. And then I start in with the honey. And then I go in with my lemon juice, of course. Utilize lemon juice if that's all that you have instead of fresh lemons. You mix it together. And if you find this is becoming watery in consistency, pour in more oatmeal. It makes it thicker and causes it to come together or coagulate like a paste. And now you have three awesome summer facial masks. And you can keep these for a couple days in the refrigerator, maybe two days. And I just cover them with clear plastic wrap and put them in the refrigerator. Application is simple. Utilizing a makeup brush, I just go ahead and start at the bottom of my face rubbing upward. I'm going to do this all the way around my face. With any one of these masks, this is gonna work. It makes your face feel cool, it makes it feel good. And just to mention how long you should leave these masks on, no longer than 20 minutes for either of the three masks. 
And because all three of these masks are edible, it is so awesome that you can eat them. If they get in your mouth, you're cool. Unlike store-bought products and masks that might kill you. It's okay to not only have this on your face, but to rub any of these masks down to your neckline. It is absolutely safe for the rest of your body. I suggest using any one of these masks up to one time weekly. All right, now I'm all done. I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes and I'm gonna wash it off with warm water. Once I'm done washing off, I just pat dry my face with paper towels. Some might say, don't paper towels irritate the skin? No, not if you pat dry, don't wipe dry. I prefer this method because sometimes the towels we use house bacteria that cause us to break out. Now I'm very happy with the results. My face and skin feels clear and smooth and I think you'll be happy as well. Thanks for watching guys.